Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. Alright guys, welcome back. As always, we're joined by our speed dominant player, Wayne Porter. Yeah, he's bowling the easy house shot. Now we are looking at the newest in uh, pieces from the attack line. Yeah. First we had the counterattacks. Well, I know first no, we had the, the rack attack. The rack attack. Then the counterattacks. Yeah. Now we got the sneak attack. Okay. This is the first hybrid in the series. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little bit about this ball. So it has the sneak attack symmetric core. Which is kind of like the counterattack cores, but just it's changed just a tiny yeah, bit. They, they, didn't they do something with the sides? Yeah. Um, and then it's got, like you said, a hybrid cover stock, which is the MTH1. The MTH1? The yeah. meth? The, it's got the, the meth cover stock? The meth, meth 1 cover stock. Okay. All right. But it, this is their micro, micro B technology. Yeah. Right? It's like micro traction hybrid one. Yeah. yeah. So, and you know what? It, it actually does have some traction here. That was look that at was hooked. that. Yeah. Um, now, you, if you missed the first one, that was off his um, uh, his benchmark shot, yep. and it didn't quite hook as much. And that one hooked like a bat out yeah. of hell, like holy moly! Um, one thing right off the bat, this ball is not for the fresh generally. No. Um, while you could take the surface to it. It's generally designed for later in the block when you got lots of friction, yeah. high friction houses. I mean, or when you want to play out in the middle of nowhere where nobody else is going to touch your line all day. <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy moly. That's where he. Yeah. When we started these videos, like, yeah. well, when we started doing the modern videos. 13 years ago yeah that's where your dad played yeah he played straight up the five board and let it walk in and as they've taken away oil from the outside he's been forced to move in which has drastically yeah. um changed his carry yeah for sure it, and his shot and like he trying to teach somebody that old to open their body up is it's a tough. bit of a challenge he is he, well you might have flexibility issues yeah. oh that's a that's a little tight yeah, he pulled that one um there's flexibility <laughs> i think we told him to play like the two board and yeah he just couldn't do it <laughs> he just <laughs> there can be yeah, mobility issues yeah. flexibility issues stuff like that it's it can be difficult to open your body up to create a proper swing plane yeah and this just allowed him to get literally on top of the friction yeah and that's we've talked about this before, and you talked about it with some of your athletes about playing the friction because the friction's always going to be there. Yep. Right. When you play the oil, the oil changes, and then you got to chase. Where if you can play the friction right off the hop, that's not a bad thing either. Yeah. Well, that said, is the, the longer you can stay straighter, you can keep those angles straighter. Yeah. The less you're going to be forced into throwing the ball away from you. Yeah. Um. And the the more at the, um, oh God, look at that! It's beautiful. It is. Um, you're you're more at the whim uh, of the lane. Yeah. With this, oh, it's. I don't want to gush over it because yeah. people are always <laughs> like, "Oh, you're, yeah. you're just you're just a shield, blah blah blah." Yeah. But look, I mean, this is where he has had to play with yeah. the bonus. You know, he is playing between the second and third arrow. Yeah. And having to basically hope that there's some friction down lane to get it to hook in. Yeah. As a speed dominant player, the more you got to throw the ball away from you, the harder it gets to get it to come back. Yeah. Look at the difference here. I'm going to say huge. 10 boards, yeah. weaker, way more hook down yeah. lane. Yeah. And I mean, some of my favorite players of all times play st as straight as they can. That they, might they can't. I'm not saying they can't swing it, but. Yep. You know that kind of hook in like that reminds me of watching like Mike Alby and John Mazza yeah. from the '80s, watching that ball create ridiculous amounts yeah. of entry angle. Now here you are with you with it. Now interestingly, normally in between we we like to refresh the oil, yeah, so that it's nice and fresh. But this ball is designed for 
as they break down. Yeah. So now we've got a little bit of friction forming here for Nick, and that was that was from 16. That was from your benchmark spot. Yeah. And really only a plaque 10 there. So um, maybe we'll move you three and two left and see what happens. Yeah. So, I mean, we're starting to, to see truly what this ball can do. Like, it's kind of opening up the the lanes, getting a couple of burn spots. Yep. Pulling the pattern towards us, kind of. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay. I'm like, you're going for coffee or something? <laughs> it went out for steak and potato. No, what, I, I, went, I, went out <laughs> for, for, for fries and a shake and came back with steak and potatoes. There we go. Almost. Almost, yeah. Now, we talked about this ball being fast response, but for later. Yeah. Maybe moving left isn't our best choice. Yeah. We moved Wayne right. Yeah. And it worked better. Why don't we move you right? So why don't we, instead of going, that last shot there, you were at 19. Why don't, instead of moving three and two left, why don't we move you three and two right and move you back to 13? Get you right on top of the friction. Yeah. Come on, baby. You can see. You can see the big difference here for sure. They'll never see it coming. And you can see the, the change in direction. Yep. Like huge. Much like, different change around. Yeah. I was like, I am so used to playing urethane lately. Yep. That this is like urethane plus <laughs> it's you can see it's it's got it's got good roll and it's reading the lanes w like i want it to yep but it's still got that boom down lane when you get out to that dry right yeah this this really reminds me of b of the the old days when we had to walk up hill both ways to school <laughs> and 40 feet go. of school or 40 feet of yeah of, that oh, was better that was much yeah, better yeah. um it just it allows you to get on top of the friction much more than most people are these days. Yeah. Um, and still be able to get it back. We normally have an out of bounds out there. Yeah. So see this come back is awesome. Yeah. A lot of people have even more friction. They have yeah. like we have it out of bounds outside of like four and then we've got a ton of friction until you hit about eight. Yeah. Some people don't even have that. Yeah. So I mean and that's the other thing is like right now, it's like everybody throwing to the friction. Where if you can, like you said, stay on top of it. Yep. Like that's, I'm okay with that. That's yeah. Right. That's very controllable. Something you can get go to as they start to burn up without yeah. having to open up your angles. Yeah. And anytime I can stay straighter is you know a bonus for me. I'll tell you that much. Straighter is greater. Yeah. I watched. Nineteen. Nineteen ninety seven. Masters the other day. Oh, cool! When it was still the ABC Masters, and Neat. this is similar, right? Like this down and in, all the guys, even the big hook guys, we're still keeping the ball in play in play, front of them. Right? Yep. Yeah. So there was the bonus. Speaking of bonuses, yeah. And we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see a fair difference here. About uh, what about? Three boards, but about six feet difference. Yeah. It's huge. Huge. That's that's getting you through transition, through yeah. breakdown down lane. That's a monster amount of, of lane that you just gained. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, like you said, it's Boy, sneaky. It's, it's <laughs> very sneaky. Now, here I am with it. I was not expecting that much hook. No. For you higher rev players, this ball is going to allow you to still get a little bit left and hook it, but it's not going to jump off the pattern. Yeah. It's not going to come screaming back at you as the, as the lanes start to dry up. Well, and the interesting thing that we haven't touched on yet is the surface is 500, mm -hmm. 1,000, 2,000 Sierra. Yep. And then crown polish. Factory. Polish. The only right? ball still on the market yeah. that uses polish. polish. So. Uh, now, I took this to a tournament um, last week. And I went to this when I needed to get to the burn. This was my yeah. burn ball. I didn't even have to take this to uh, 4,000. Yeah. The uh, 500, 1,000, 2,000 plus crown polish gave me all the length I needed. Wow. That yeah. that was a move of seven left from my 
uh, benchmark. benchmark. Yeah. You guys have created some friction down lane for me. Yeah. Once again, we have an oiled in between here. And now I can really open up the lane. Yeah. And it's coming, like we talked about, like the oil pattern coming towards you, right? Yep. So it's shortening up, and it's really being able to, to play in your better butter shot. Absolutely. Right? I can see why Phil uh, packed two of these to go to the USB-Cs. Oh, for sure. Um, one that he could put some surface on, pin up a little more reactive. One pin down that he control um, as they get burned up. Yeah, all day. I mean... That's another five boards left. Didn't quite get around it. That one was a little flat. Yeah. Look at the look on my face. Huh. I still almost made it. <laughs> two of these and a double cross. That would be a pretty deadly three ball. Yeah. Like. <laughs> or like two of these and a double cross and like a trailblazer. Yeah. As a high end, as your angular yeah, yeah, ball. ball. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. You could do some nasty damage. Nasty. Now, I think I'm going to try. I could be wrong here, but I think I'm going to try to move right if I remember. And I'm going to try to play this one up the friction. If I ever come back on screen. Where'd I go? It was one of those days. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there I am. I can <laughs> There's your legs now. Yeah, yeah, I can. S oh, look at those sexy gams. Yep. I'm going to try to play it a little bit more up the lane. There you go. And it still hooked a fair yeah. amount. It didn't jump. No. But, but it still hooked. I think I could probably make a three and two move off of that. Yeah, and get yourself sorted again. Yeah, yep. For sure. But that's the thing is, like we talked about, like you playing inside with a stronger ball and then stepping into this when everybody else is trying to jump further left. Yep. Right? I, I can stay yeah. on the friction longer than yeah. than others. Yeah. I had a, a guy on Facebook. I read his post about how he – finally understood um lofting the gutter because he played on a, a light oil sports shot ah. and by game three he was couldn't keep the ball on right the lane the, right yeah right at the head of it i'm like you well need a sneak attack that's speaking yeah. of that if you do know that you've got friction down lane yeah. all you got to do no change to the cover here is just add a little bit more rotation and there you go. You can get it there. Yeah. Like, I'm very, very impressed with this ball. Uh, I've been asking Brunswick for a well, while. I email all the time. Asking them for something that was um, in that 254 range, something in that burn ball, because we didn't really have a lot in that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Um, in that range. And not only did they deliver, yeah. I think they over-delivered. Yeah. This thing is, it's not even expensive. Like, no. In Canada here, our prices are a little bit higher, but we're yeah. looking at the $180 range for one of these, yeah. brand new. So, what, like $110, $120 American? Yeah. Like, and that's why there's no dynamic core in it. Because Phil wanted to keep it in that, yeah. for that area. So there I was with the bonus. You can see playing it pretty straight. And uh, even though you saw me hook it a lot... I'm going to compare this one, you know, apples to apples kind of yeah. thing. You got to be you got to be fair. So, and you can see here with the friction, I've got about 10 boards, much more angular down yeah. lane, way way more angular. Uh designed to sneak attack the friction when you need the ball to get down lane. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.